it gets better with time and after a couple obviously you need to know how to bring your sex life back because um the fact that you just had kids doesn't mean that you have to totally ignore that whole part of you water is life <laughs> water is truly life that thing that they say they didn't like when they said it oh. hey guys hey you hey you beautiful girl Charging. hey you um handsome guy if if a guy is watching my video ouch my ears ah, but hey guys what's up welcome back to another weekly vlog vlog week two. no wait what am i saying vlog week wait what vlog week one vlog week two vlog week three vlog week four i mean i i don't know i've lost count but it's vlog week whatever but you guys are welcome to another weekly vlog what's today's date it is i'm sorry it's the 19th of july today it's monday we are in the office i am getting some work done on my laptop right now i'm doing some content planning right there and yeah for the most part of today it's actually four well four it's 4 p.m right now for the most part of the day i've been braiding my hair i washed my hair today um which i recorded and put my hair in flat twist guys this is my very first time that i've been able to do flat twist by myself i mean i've never even had flat twist done but i've never been able to perfect my flat twist they never stay in flat twist like in a few minutes or come out you know but today i've been able to get it done and it's nice and flat and this is because we're about to put on the wig you know the wave face is back i'm about to put on my wig braids are done um i'm probably not going to be braiding my hair for a while i don't know i don't know <laughs> don't listen to anything i say because i just might change my mind um but yeah I'm about to put on my wig. I washed my wig, revived my wig. She's looking healthy. Curls, the curls are looking like just like how I got it when like when they sent it in because that wig, oh my god. But yeah, that's what's happening today. I thought I'd check in with you guys and start this vlog. What's this week looking like? What is this week looking like? Oh, we have a live video on Wednesday. So we have um, a live video that I have been invited to be on Instagram video um, talking about motherhood, motherhood and everything in between. Let me show you guys. Um, she just sent me the flyer. Yeah, she just said motherhood and everything in between. Just conversation, you know. You guys see that? Uh okay yes 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 that's me right there and that's the lady who invited me <laughs> my friend the lady <laughs> so yeah i so we're gonna be doing that on wednesday so i have to put that in my schedule so today today um my plan for today was to just wash my hair which i recorded so to me that was creating content and then I'm also posting on Instagram, I'm posting on YouTube, so that's still working. And then now I'm here to do content planning for the rest of July. And then maybe for a little bit of August. And then I have to do my nails, guys. My nails are growing back. Um, I love my natural nails, by the way. I absolutely love my natural nails, like... I love my natural notes. I'm about to do acrylic dip powder, which I intend to record for Instagram. I love to do short nail videos for Instagram. I feel like you guys don't like those ones here. <laughs> Plus there are thousand and one of them here to be honest. So um, I just like that for my Instagram. So I'll do that. I'll record that for Instagram in a little bit. I don't have to cook today because we meal prepped over the weekend. 
<laughs> we meal prepped over the weekend. You guys know I like to meal prep because during the week I don't be liking the whole idea of like thinking of what to cook and what should I cook and what should I cook. I just don't like that. It gives me too much pressure. So I like to give myself a head start, you know, during the weekend. So I make myself, I make some stew, you know, fry some chicken, um, meal prep some rice. So I usually have like a big bowl of rice, a big bowl of stew. So this time I want to have a big bowl of bean stew. And then I have um, a medium bowl of chicken stew. I have chicken fried. I have, I had salad, which literally finished today because we had lunch. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I kind of we kind of have what we're having this evening, so I really don't have to cook. And today I intend to finish work here early, you know, prep myself for tomorrow, set up my to-do list for tomorrow because tomorrow I intend to create content. Wait, usually Tuesday for me is editing day, um, but also because the video that I have to upload on Wednesday is a very short video and. There's also so much work that I have to put into it. I feel like I can create some content tomorrow. Plus also I want to lay my wig and I want to record a get ready with me. Because I feel like I haven't done my makeup video in such a long time. I haven't recorded makeup content for YouTube also in such a long time. I miss talking and just doing my makeup and just chit chatting with you guys. So I'm going to be doing one of those. Um, just basically talking about motherhood, you know. I'm navigating motherhood right now just chatting you know just chatting about best stuff so yeah that should be fun so that's what the week is looking like so I should be doing that on Tuesday which is tomorrow and then Wednesday we should be doing the live and then Thursday to be honest I have no idea what we're doing um, but it just might be same old same old creating content or editing or doing some more admin work also I'm expecting some packages this week that's if they come in um, I'm looking forward to doing a collaboration with two brands two brands that I'm happy to work with um, so if they come in I'll definitely share that with you guys I cannot wait um, but one is actually active to think come to think of it one is actually active i just need to receive the product so i can talk to you guys about it but the campaign is active is a brand ambassador like it's a brand ambassador real situation um where i have a discount code um so it's a long-term situation so i have a discount code for you guys that i'm going to be sharing when the products get here i can't wait for them to get here so i can just share it with you guys um but i'll have a code that you guys can buy with my code and just get a few dollars off yeah for both for both brands for both brands i'm excited about that i'm excited about that but yeah if that comes we should be checking out some packages this week but yeah that's an overview of what our week looks like i feel like i like to give you guys that in the beginning of the vlogs plus low-key our vlogs might always be starting in the office because it's nice to have like a sit down talk for the intro it's like i have to you know hello welcome you know <laughs> since i'm not like going all over the place if it's a vlog that i'm moving around then obviously it's different like i'm in town doing stuff but if i'm at home i feel like i need to sit down talk to you like tell you what you what you should be looking forward to and then um we're gonna get into the vlog so yeah that's what's happening that's what's going to be happening um then i'm gonna get into some work and maybe listen to some podcasts i was listening to a podcast today which is actually the reason why i'm doing this because she um, was talking about batch creating content and i'm in the mood for that so yeah i'm about to plan some content and then we'll see if we can film something tomorrow um i have to, i wanted to make beat by if i happen to do that i will do it with you guys um, but yeah, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Let me show you guys this thing that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if I showed you, but I think it's cute. And I want you to see. See this thing right here? Oh, isn't this a beautiful find? It's just like a date situation, but it has today's a good day. And it gives you the chance to change this all up. So this is all it is. This is literally all it is. So you just arrange the numbers of the dates. So today's date is the 19th. So that's what I did. And then you're going to go ahead and put... See, this is July. So you just put July. 
um, to the front like that. <laughs> I like to say to the front. I don't know why, but it sounds really awkward. Um, it sounds like not correct English, but I kind of like to say it. See? Oh, how come this thing will fit? Because I'm holding the camera with the other hand. But you guys get the vibe. This is what it looks like. See? And I think it's so cute. I honestly think it's so cute. Like what? <laughs> I love home decor pieces too. Really simple things that you know like elevate your spaces. Very, very simple pieces. See, this is just a very simple stone on top of this gold situation right here. I don't want to fall. <laughs> and then this, see, they just make a whole difference. And I'm happy for myself. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm going to get into doing some work. I will see you guys later, okay? I just remember that as of the time that you, I mean, like by the time you guys will see this vlog, we would have done the IGTV live by now. Like, we would have done the IG live. My chair is so rickety and so noisy. <laughs> um, but we would have done the IG live by now. So if you caught that live, comment down below. Let me know. Just say, hey, girl, I was there. I caught your live and I think it was cute. Um, but that should also give you guys an idea of how I want my podcast to go. Um, even though right now I don't know if I'm going to have any guests on my podcast because I honestly don't know so many people and I don't know how to have someone on my podcast if I don't have them with me in my studio so then that's going to be a problem but that's kind of what we want to do you know my podcast I want to talk about so many things about motherhood um figuring life motherhood i said figuring life wife and motherhood that's the theme that i'm kind of going for so i'll be talking about everything about life that i think that um, millennials are dealing with everything about motherhood that i think that millennial moms are dealing with because i'm a millennial mom and then everything that millennial wives are dealing with because i am a millennial wife as well so see that's what i'm talking about so yeah comment down below let me know hey girl i caught the live i loved it and i'd love for you guys to do more of that or uh, i'd love for you to start your podcast that's conversations like that you know we kind of want to hear it and i'd love to do it because low-key my podcast i have my pointers written down i have four episodes scripted shout outs to me okay <laughs> so i am i'm kind of ready to go but self-sabotage just keeps kicking in um, but we'll do it we'll do it eventually I, I will do it there's so much on my plate there's so much that i want to do um but it will be done it will be done as long as you're here you see okay relax <laughs> oh plus you guys i think i've said this already but if i haven't let me just say again if you've noticed that the settings on the camera has changed yes it has because it has changed we figured it out and now it's better and i'm so happy about it plus um obviously i have a microphone plugged in so i feel like the sound is better i'm listening to myself that's why i'm saying that it's like i'm just looking at what i get from the camera and i feel like it's really good it's way better than before if you watch i mean if you remember vlog one the first vlog i was still figuring it out but now I think it's better. I think it's way better. I like it for myself, okay? <laughs> I'm thirsty. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. I feel like yesterday you guys saw me here. And today I'm here. Well, yeah, that's what's happening. Um, I'm about to do my nails. I am recording that for my Instagram. Um, but, yeah. This is my setup. My cute little setup going on. I'm about to do my nails. So yeah, let me finish doing that. Baby's sleeping. That's why I'm talking like that. But let me finish doing that and then I'll see you guys um, when I'm done. So I'm about to lay my hair. And I thought that I would do it with you guys. 
because I haven't done this in such a long time I just also uploaded today's video you guys know that Wednesdays we have an upload so I just uploaded that I put on this wig cap just so my hair is protected underneath and also just so that it pulls back my hair yeah I want to have this wig in for at least two days because I have a live today and then I might film with the hair tomorrow so hopefully it stays in for two days but yeah let's, let's do this I haven't had a wig on in so long Ugh, she looks so clean let me put some powder onto this let me the train is coming <laughs> That train is so noisy. Oh, hopefully it doesn't wake her up. You know, funny enough, the train, the loudest, the loudest, Mikasa can wake her up. The train will pass. You guys will hear the train. It will not wake her up. It usually doesn't. I don't know how babies do that. You can play the loudest music in the room and they'll still sleep. But the smallest thing will wake them up. Anyway, let me show you guys this uh, Maybelline Superstay. Is a powder foundation this stuff is so good it is so good <laughs> I've never used a powder foundation this was my first and I was actually just picking out a powder I didn't think it was a powder foundation I thought you know let me just use this thing and the train goes away we'll talk. I know I live I live next to the railway now I know someone will be asking why would you live next to the railway that is literally the worst place to be living but it's so peaceful here <laughs> and when we came to look at the apartment the the first day we came to look at the apartment I mean, I didn't think that it was going to be so much of a problem. I didn't think that it was going to disturb a child. Obviously, I knew that it was disturbing. But it comes by, for what's fair, it comes by just once a day or twice a day in the morning and in the evening. And this place is really peaceful. This place is so beautiful. The scenery that you get here is so beautiful. My, my yard like i have a big backyard and then my yard has like a whole forest um, i mean like after my yard is a forest so you see like trees nature it's so beautiful and it's just really peaceful it's really peaceful um that's just, aside the train aside the train there's really nothing else here that is a problem to us so yeah if you're wondering that's why it's a beautiful place so much air because of the nature and the trees around there's just so much air but yeah powder foundation is on so that should do a bit of a trick and I should tighten this up this wig is actually big I think this is the first time that a wig is bigger than my head Sharon says that my head is big but I beg to differ because I think my head is cute it's not big um, but yeah this is what the wig looks like if um, it's not glued down it's actually quite firm right now I think because I figured it out <laughs> before i was just messing with it so sometimes i just put it on and then i use it as a headband wig i don't know if i should do that i don't know if i'm in the mood to i i kind of i kind of i'm in the mood to lay my wig so let me just lay it 
but yeah when it comes off when i put it on and the glue usually gets like old and i don't want to take it off i just put a headband and then i use it as a headband wig so that's a trick or that's a tip if you have a wave wig if you have a wig that um is old um this is not old though but if you have a wig that is old and you don't know what to do with it you can just watch my video of how to revive your wig revive it if the lace is still not giving you can use it as a headband wig you just need to buy a regular headband and then put on put on your wig put on top of it and you're good to go you're good 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 to go my love you can pull it back do your edges do whatever you want to do with it because i want to um i wish i could actually take my time and lay this like side by side that's how i usually lay my wig and lay on one side that's the best way to actually lay your wig that's the best way to have it laying flat um but because she's sleeping i don't want to use a blow dryer because that would definitely wake her up that will definitely wake her up so i'm just gonna go ahead and do um a combo of these two a combo of the got to be um spray and glue these two will get the wig laid but then i have to wait but if i use the blow dryer that would have been perfect we'll just dry and then i won't have to wait but yeah the live is at six so i don't have to i don't have to like rash you know let me actually just use my finger for this because that's going to be a lot more easier use my name sleep for me <laughs> sleep, sleep for me baby guys it's not easy dealing with a newborn it is not easy i'm just going to tell you this on all levels it's not easy it will test you it will test your patience um and i almost dropped i mean i did drop it but i caught it with my leg so my foot so that's that's good but like i was saying it's not easy dealing with a newborn it will test your patience on all levels and i think that's that's it comes with being a parent you just have to learn to be patient you just have to learn to um be careful be patient and just know that you're dealing with a newborn and there's not so much you can do <laughs> there's really not so much you can do and sometimes i'm always saying that or well, like currently i mean right now with, with this baby i'm very grateful because i'm learning so much i told you guys i really am learning so much and i'm grateful that this baby is teaching me all these things that i'm learning including working on my patients you know sometimes you want something to happen immediately like you want them to sleep immediately and they're not sleeping and you have a long list of things that you want to do or you have to do you have to do in my case in my case will be sometimes filming creating content um, also sometimes you just want to sleep you know take a rest and um, because they are not sleeping you can't sleep too so it makes it hard but with all this you learn that patience 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 <laughs> and it gets better with time it only gets better it can only get better okay so i just put the glue on um i put i put like two layers of the glue so now i'm gonna go ahead and put like another layer of the spray mix that in with the glue i'm pretty sure you guys know how to lay hair by now this is really not a tutorial I just wanted to sit down with you guys and lay my wig.
And it's crazy how kids grow so fast. My first daughter, she's growing so fast. It's like she was just a baby. <laughs> she was literally just a baby. And now she's able to tell me, Mommy, I do the makeup. I said, look at you. Oh my God. Oh. I'm excited. Like I told you guys, I haven't laid my hair in such a long time. So this is really giving me excitement vibes. I need my clips. Give me one second. I think the lace looks great. I think it looks great overall, to be honest. I don't even have to... <clears throat> I don't even really have to use the powder again. I know, I'm still reaching out for the powder, but I'm just going to define the line in the center. The line that I have in the center, the pattern, I'm just giving it more life. And like I said, this powder is just really my shade. So, it, it's perfect. And now, let me show you guys this trick. This stuff is the root. Um, you can't see it well, but it's the L'Oreal, L'Oreal, L'Oreal Magic Roots Cover Up. So I bought it for my front hair, to be honest, for like when I do pony like abdus and stuff, and you know I just want to conceal a few of the areas where I don't have so much hair. But I find that it also works really well for your wigs. For so, um, I'm just going to put this here, and then it's going to fill in. It's going to fill in any part that needs filling in. Do you guys see? See how straight my line looks now? That's what I'm talking about. I just give you a nice and it's not strong centered too so that's a good thing see the difference it just literally fills that place up and the one that I have the shade that I have here is dark brown so this is a big tip if you want your wig to look like really nice even aside your wigs you know this is just really nice for filling filling in areas that you don't have so much hair that you feel like oh I wish I had so much hair here or I wish I had enough just the right amount of hair to cover up this side I think it looks perfect okay so I mistakenly sprayed some onto my skin now I want to show you guys the color that is the color so that's the filling in that you get and see even on my skin it's almost impossible to go away that's what you want okay so now I'm gonna apply some mousse this mousse is the trick for this curl definition, this mousse is literally the secret. If you want your curly hair to lay, I mean to give you like nice good definition, you want to use some mousse because that's the only thing that will give you that definition that you need. <laughs> My daughter literally just said eh in her sleep. Which means that she's affirming what I said. <laughs> I just finished making dinner. I have 15 minutes to get ready for the live. I don't think that I want to even meddle with makeup right now. Because it's truly going to be a waste. As a life is for just 30 minutes. <clears throat> I'm even family. Um, but yeah. 
my phone's charger decided to not work right now when i need it to work but it's, it's working i'm using i'm charging it <laughs> i just put on my lights um set up my phone my area is ready and good to go to be honest i just need to change my top and put on some lip balm and yeah that'll be it i'll see you guys i'll see you guys okay okay guys so i changed tops I think this is nice and cute plus they're only going to see a portrait um, version of me so I'm just putting on some brown gel you know because I'm really not going to do my makeup so some brow gel and then some mascara some mascara this is my high school girl essentials when I was in secondary school, <laughs> whenever I would do makeup or like whenever I would want to like touch up my face or feel cuter, I'd always just put on some mascara, brush my brows with some lip gloss. I don't know if you ever did that, but if you ever did, comment down below. But yeah, I brush my brows with some lip gloss just so that it's nice and like flat and... <laughs> people do we did stuff when we were young you know i'm still very young but looking back you you see that you did very stupid things <laughs> okay um that should be good that should be good my skin is looking good my skin is looking amazing so i'll just put on some lip balm and then we're good to go i have three more minutes so yeah let me go and grab some water i have water here but it's half so i'm gonna go grab some water and I'll probably set you guys up somewhere so that you see me when I'm doing the live. I'm about to go live. So I'm just right posting on my Instagram story. Um, the page that I'll tag. So if you're, if you have time, show up, show up, and yeah, we're talking about motherhood. I already said it. So hey guys. Hey. <laughs> I haven't been on live in such a long time. Oh my god. Oh, hi, I'm back. I have my notepad too in my pen. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'll try again. <laughs> I'll see guys here. My She's vlogging. <laughs> Anyways, okay. First of all, I want you guys to say hello to my vlog. I know it's pretty <laughs> surprising. because i feel like um the older generation didn't do so much of that they were very keep it in my own little ball you know um yeah. but yes definitely it changes your sex life mm -hmm. because now obviously there are kids around so a kid, kid who can just budge in at any time <laughs> you know and and also um as like we're talking about the fact that if you have a tear and you're dealing with the, the i feel like the feeling is not the same again in the beginning sometimes in the beginning but then moving towards you know the middle there then it, it just it gets better it gets better with time that's just what it is it gets better with time it gets better with time and as a couple obviously you need to know how to bring your sex life back because um the fact that you just had kids doesn't mean that you have to totally ignore that whole part of you 
it definitely has a toll on your sex life but both of you can definitely find a way to bring it back to life it's all really dependent on the couple it's all really dependent on you too about like a couple of good stuff yeah yeah, yeah. so i guess we'll have to leave you mama gwen <laughs> take care thank you thank for you having so me thank you thank you rachel it was nice talking to you nice, nice talking to you absolutely too. nice meeting nice. you i'm gonna follow you right away yes and i have so many questions from both of you <laughs> Proud for me. No, no problem. I'm always here. I'm always gonna be here. <laughs> you too. Oh my god, guys. You too. Bye. The life is ending. <gasps> that was such a great conversation. Oh my god. I didn't think. See guys, I'm pretty sure the girls on the platform will say that this girl, she can talk because I kept going and going and going. It's official. Don't invite me on your live because I'll keep going and going and going and going, okay? <laughs> I don't stop talking, but that was very fun. Um, that was such a healthy live. I am absolutely happy about that. I'm absolutely happy about that. <clears throat> so the life is done. I am gonna go eat because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm just excited. I'm just excited that the life is done. And it was fun. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go now. It kind of makes me feel like I want to start my podcast, but also yeah, I'd like to I'd, I'd I'd like to also be on this live again because people really had a lot of questions to ask, and I didn't think that people really had questions about motherhood like that. So definitely, I'm oh I'm excited! I'm so excited! I can't wait to be <clears throat> on this live again. I'll be happy to be on this again. I'm gonna go eat. My baby has been crying. I know that daddy is probably overwhelmed by now. But I love you, daddy. If you're watching this, I love you, okay? <laughs> I love you, okay? Okay. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is Thursday. I, I am getting ready to do a workout. I've honestly been feeling very lazy getting back into my healthy habits lifestyle. Um, it hasn't been easy getting back, to be honest. And I know a lot of people will say, you just had a baby, sleep, rest. You need all the rest that you can have, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're currently a little over two weeks postpartum. And for me, it's okay. If I mean if that works for you, cool, but it doesn't work for me. Just like sitting and waiting around and um waiting till whatever time. It doesn't work for me. Um I thrive when I push myself. I do better when I push myself. Um because I easily get comfortable and I don't want to do that. My first daughter it took me I mean, it took two years and over before I started an active workout routine, which is bad, you know? So with this baby, I want to start early. And matter of fact, fitness is something that, since I started doing it from the last time, it has become such a huge part of me. And now, whenever I'm not like active, or whenever I'm not doing, like whenever I'm not watching what I'm eating, or like, at least having an active workout routine i feel some way about it i just feel some way about it um so i didn't work out yesterday um yesterday was was a good day i mean i did the live and blah 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 but in that aspect of my life it wasn't a good day because i didn't work out i didn't check what i ate i mean yesterday 
also i've started i, I have low-key started my intermittent fasting again um i'm starting slow so right now i'm doing instead of the regular 16 by 8 method that i was doing before right now i'm doing i think 13 by 7 or 15 by 15 by 9 yeah something around that i'm just not doing the intense one that i kind of was doing before um but intermittent fasting works really great for me but i need an active routine because um just fasting is not a um, you need to get the heart pumping. You need to get blood move. I mean, blood moving. You know. So today I said, you know what? I woke up early, cleaned the kitchen because yesterday I didn't clean the kitchen before going to bed. Um, so it was pretty all over the place. So I cleaned the kitchen, cleaned the living room. Um, baby is taking a nap. I, I haven't done her morning routine. It's still very early, 7:53. So I'm about to do a quick 10 minutes workout. A quick 10 minutes workout um you know something to make me feel feel good and something to make me feel better about myself um and that's just how i can start i need to i need to start slow um take it one day at a time um but there's really no rest i can't rest and plus i have work to do i have content to create i have um now uh I'm grateful to say that at least every day I have at least one email. Um, plus, I have these websites that you can go on and work with brands. So I have about three of those websites which I'm on. So um, I'm able to get some brand collaborations from those websites as well. So um, I have a couple that I have to work on today. I have some content that I have to create. I don't know how that will go. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do my workout do baby's routine do my morning routine i don't eat till 10 um so i will still have a couple of hours to get some work done in here and then um yeah yeah that's just what it's gonna be i'll probably do a quick makeup i'm thinking of recording a quick makeup look for instagram a makeup look that you can transition from daytime to nighttime because i think that's very practical um for summer because people are going on a lot of dates nights right now but yeah i just wanted to say good morning um we're up and we're ready to conquer the day. Hey guys, so I finished taking my shower. I'm trying to set you guys up. Give me one second. I finished taking my shower. I'm in the studio now. I am about to film. I'm about to film. What you guys hear in the background is white noise for the baby. She's sleeping right now. She's sleeping right now. Um, so I'm about to get some content done. I feel like my, my frontal is just, let me see what that is going to look like on camera because I'm going to be really up close. I don't want anything messing me up. I'm heading into Walmart right now um, to be honest Walmart is really in and out I have to like go in and come back out because um, I can't be in for so long and plus I need I need just a few things I need just like two things it's a baby sling um, and then also I need to pick up some pail so I'll do that People are so awkward, you know, people are just like looking at you. But one thing about me, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about you. I know their baby section is somewhere over here in the back. Um, hi. 
Morning, what would you say your baby section is? Huh? Your baby section? Here in the back. Okay, thank you. I'm all done. I'm all done. Uh, okay. So, I am at their baby section now. To be honest, I need to ask someone because this is. I need to ask someone. This is the bottle that we use. This is the one that we use. And this one as well. Very good stuff. I'd always recommend that. Um, but right now, I need a baby sling. And I don't think that I know where it is. So I just have to ask someone. I have to ask someone. So they don't someone. have the baby wrap sling. And that is literally the one thing that I came here for. That is literally the one thing that I came here for. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm, I'm going to quickly check out their skincare section because I can't come to Walmart and not check out skincare. To be honest, I don't need anything. To be honest, I really don't need anything. I really do not. Okay, guys. So we're back at home and we're I really don't need anything. I need a cute little hole. I can use. Very quick one. Mm. So I, um, so we went to Walmart. You guys saw that we went to Walmart. And I showed you guys the skincare product that I was picking up from Walmart. So this is Earth to Skin. I showed you guys <clears throat> I showed you guys earlier but yeah I'm excited to try that but let me tell you guys this starter kit <sighs> is it just me or it's too small the cleanser is cool that this is the cleanser this is the day cream night cream and then this is the eye cream I think this and this is ridiculous this is too small this is literally what three days but the cleanser and the eye cream i think is okay for testers so that is walmart and we we're supposed to get the baby sling from walmart but i didn't get that because they didn't have it so we went to target we went to target to get the event floor this is a baby sling um I'm excited to use this because I'm tired of carrying the baby in my hand, in my arms every day. This stuff is very convenient. Um, I wanted to try the wrap, but uh, I think this is. I've had this before for baby number one, so I, this is what it looks like. This is literally what it looks like. Yeah, when we put it on, you guys will see. Um, but yeah, we got that from Target. And then I went to Dollar General. I didn't go to Dollar Tree this time. See, I didn't go to Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar General. Even though they're kind of the same, they're not the same. I'm sure some will beg to differ, but yeah. Um, I picked up some deodorant, Arm & Hammer. This is the one that we like. This one doesn't have any scent. I think, I don't know. Yeah, it has just a regular, regular nice scent. And then I picked up some lash glue because I need one. The one that I have is sad. It's just really sad. So this one, I think this is, this is dark. Um, I'm not sure this is clear. And then I picked up some lashes. I saw this one from LA Colors. I don't know. <laughs> and then I saw this bracelet, which I think was cute. It's just a regular bracelet and it's two. Um, I like the sign, the second one. This is the one that caught my eye. So yeah. So yeah, basically guys, that's it. That's all that I got from um, the things that I bought. One second. We're good. 
she's sleeping and she's literally in the living room so um i don't have the baby monitor there but she's fine so uh, yeah i'm gonna put this i'm gonna take this out and put it on Ooh. and then i'm gonna take this one off so this is this is an old necklace actually and i'm a team we only two because <laughs> matter of fact it was old so i figured let me just take it out and it's cute it's cute as a bracelet it is i think it is i can't take this thing off hey mini sanine mini sanine okay guys so i just finished taking my shower so let's do some skincare and let me also just say that i love this one i don't think that i've tried this particular color um but i generally love the gel deodorant i, I think i picked that up from my big sister when she was um, in high school or when i for the part where i lived with her i realized that that's what she used and it was really good because she she cannot stand strong scented deodorant so i picked up from her and this as well is the advanced sweat control which i find that i do a lot i sweat a lot in my armpits so um hopefully that works but i generally love arm and hammer and i love the gel textures so try it if you haven't ever tried it um but yeah it's time for some skincare it's time for some nighttime skincare <laughs> Oh, I feel good taking my shower. I feel like I haven't actually taken my time to take shower like this in such a long time. But um, we're trying the new product that we picked up from Walmart today, Earth to Skin. This is the branding. This is what it looks like. Um, my camera is just deciding to focus on something else. Okay, great, great. <laughs> um, so that's the cleanser. It's a calming, moisturizing, soothing cleanser. Wow. And it has manuka honey. I think I've heard a lot of good things about manuka honey. Um, I hear that it's good. I've seen a lot of skincare brands use it. So let's use that. They say that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, tr I threw the box away. So I'm gonna. I just put some water on my face and then I'm gonna go ahead and try this it smells like honey a little that's what it looks like it's just a watery gel matter of fact it's like um, a watery honey version like a honey that is <laughs> slightly lighter than actual honey matter of fact it's actually thick Consist oh the consistency is actually thick. It is actually thick. See, it's actually thick. And I like the smell. It's not overpowering. I don't think I like my skincare products to have such a strong scent because I can't stand it. I mean it has to smell good. I don't want it to be bland either. But then it shouldn't like be overpowering. You know, it shouldn't be like perfume. I need to see if I can further break it down. No, it doesn't lather. So it's not soapy. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what you call that texture. But yeah, I decided to add a little bit of water and that's just the lather that you get. Not so much lather. But it does a good job, see? It still has like the soap in it. It just doesn't give you a foaming lather situation. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash this off. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my serums. I don't want to use my cellar water. I usually like to use my cellar water when I've put on makeup and you know you need to like cleanse and cleanse and cleanse. Double cleanse, triple cleanse. I'm going in with retinol first. So yeah, I don't like to use my cellar water every time. The skin around 
the perimeters of my face <coughs> they are so dry they are so dry so when you see me because you see obviously the center part of my face i'm putting on some lip balm because this is the ghetto and my lips are just dry and when you see me because you know usually the center is what hits you and the center part of my face is very oily i don't know how that combination is even working but yeah that's why my skin is combination skin <laughs> So when you first see me, you see that and then you're, you think that I'm so oily or my skin is so oily. The other parts of my face are so dry. Like, not even in between dry. Like, dry, dry. I'm um, going in with hyaluronic acid. So I usually like to focus my hyaluronic acid on like the perimeters of my face and my lace is definitely ready to come off. This is bad. <laughs> you see, it's lifting. I'll probably just take it off when I'm done. Don't forget your neck and then the excess uses hand cream. Um, the next product from the new brand that we picked up is their eye cream. I hope it's gel because I love me a good gel eye cream. That's nice. You like a good moisturizing eye cream. And all the products smell the same. The eye cream also smells smells like the cleanser. They have a base scent, yeah, that you find in all of them. So I think that's the signature scent maybe. Um, that's cool though. <laughs> and then now I'm gonna use the nighttime moisturizer. This one right here. See how small it is, guys? That's what I was talking about. It is too small. And the nighttime moisturizer is thick. I mean, I guess that's what you should be expecting with nighttime moisturizers because they are supposed to do like extra job because you're sleeping and they're supposed to like get your skin nice and moisturized. Oh, but it goes away nicely. That's what I'm talking about. Mmm, it's nice and thick, but it applies really nice and it smells just like the cleanser too. <laughs> I actually like it. I actually like the... the the line i like it i absolutely love it doesn't smell so much um nice and moisturizing i think i like it for my skin type in particular and maybe yeah because the, the daytime cream is gel their eye cream is kind of gel their cleanser is gel as well so i think that um this is more for oily or combination skin oh i love it see how moisturized my skin looks <sighs> tell me about it i love it i love it i love it i love it that is great that is great i love the textures of the cream the product is amazing i love it let me just say that i'm gonna top it up with some oil this is from clove and holly hollow i always say holly but it's hollow this thing is actually finished though why? <laughs> but yeah, till the bottle is totally empty, it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna put some oil just to seal all of that in. We like a good nighttime skincare routine. Like when you take a shower and then you do your skincare, it's like that's the cherry on the cake or the icing on the cake, whatever they say. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. Ooh, baby girl, give it up. It's me. I win. You lose. I've been saying this thing has been living rent free in my head the whole day. And I'm not even saying it to you. I'm saying I'm just saying it because it's been in my head the whole day. <laughs> um, okay, guys. So that's it for my evening skincare routine. I'm going to go ahead and just take this lace off because... Um, it's coming off on 
certain sides so it's beginning to pull on my hair which i don't like i mean it's beginning to pull on you know it's beginning to pull you know which i don't like so i take it off i just take it off and go to bed uh, i mean like you know what let me take it off <laughs> and then i'll show you guys a cornbread because i think i still want to show you guys that and then i'll end up the vlog and then we'll go okay i look like a greased monkey <laughs> Yeah, let me <laughs> see the way it looks. See, I look so greasy. But for my nighttime routine, I don't mind. I took off the wig. That's one thing I like about God TV. You know, let me take this thing off because it smells right now. Let me try and remember it. That's one thing I like about God TV. It's very easy to come off. Very, very easy to come off. Um, but have I already made cornbread with you guys? I think I have. I think I made cornbread in last week's vlog. I, I just remembered. Um, but yeah, let me just put you guys down. Um, Tastes good. It tastes really good. What the hell is that? Okay, guys. So I have my cornbread and I have my cup of juice. Cup of juice. So I'm gonna go sit, relax, and watch some movies. If you're wondering where the baby is, she's sleeping. She's sleeping beautifully. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go to um i'm gonna go watch a movie i honestly don't know what i'm watching on netflix i've told you guys i'm pretty sure you want to know <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna look for something to watch but yeah that's it for the rest of the day i have to do the baby's nighttime routine um so when she wakes up i'll do that but that's just really quick um yeah but for the most part that is all i have to do today i thank you guys so much for coming along with me for this whole week i hope you guys enjoy at least we got to go out we got to buy a few things in town it wasn't just an at-home vlog so i love that for myself i hope that you enjoyed the vlog um comment down below anything okay anything comment down below and yeah i'm gonna go you know i'll see you guys in my next vlog i'll see you guys in next week's vlog Mwah. this is a reminder to do your skincare okay this is a reminder to do skincare it's very important do skincare <laughs> i'll see you next week's vlog i love you okay big up yourself no mediocrity big up yourself okay